Good morning, Brian Bishop, Deputy Airport Director, Rocky Mountain Metro. Um, yeah, I thank you, Maylee, for the for the presentation. So I understand there is a few questions about this project. This is the Taxi Lane, Otis or uh, Oscar and Delta design. This is the design portion, what we call AIP 68. Next slide. Or, me, or do I have? Um, some background on this and some communication. I know there was a communication uh, question as well as the JVation uh, master contract question. So this development, what we call the south side development, has been on our master plan and development um, plan since the 1980s, 1988 master plan, as well as the 2011 master plan. The taxi lane uh, extension that um, that red area right there that you see is a, the aeronautical development portion of that. Um, it's been in, in the approximate location um, on the 2011 master plan, the airport layout plan, which is part of that, as well as the 2021 strategic business plan. And uh, uh, so this has been something that we've been planning for quite some time. We've presented both of these plans to the Community Noise Roundtable and to the, Jeff, uh, the Jeffco Airport Advisory Board. Next slide. Thank you. This is a, the di diagram of our airport layout plan that was part of the 2011 um, airport master plan. You can see that the FAA did sign off on that in that upper right hand corner. Um, several projects that we identified. Um, well, I need better glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see the retaining wall up in that that north uh, northwest corner, but it's the blue shaded area there to the south of of the runways that are, is where this taxi lane is going. This is the south side development on airport layout plans, master plans. You don't know exactly where things are going to go. Um, you know, as as it's built in different uh, different tenants build air um, hangers, etc. Uh, so it's just a general uh, area. We put some hangers there in taxi lanes, and there is a taxi lane there. Um, the exact location is I don't know, maybe 300 feet to the east. Um, you can also see some east side development where we on that northeast corner where we're building shelter. There's the, even to the south uh, east there, where there was a runway extension planned. Um, all right, next slide. Oh, and that was briefed to, uh, sorry, uh, same plan, you can stay there, is uh, that was briefed to the uh, Community Noise Roundtable on April 12th, 2021, originally. This is a, a zoomed in location, um, or diagram from the same airport layout plan that shows this taxi lane and the development on the south side and the future aeronautical development. Again, brief to the CNR on April 12th, 2021. All right, next slide. Thank you. This is from the strategic business plan, uh, brief to the community noise round table on September 13th, 2021. This is a uh, preparing for growth is the slide they've, they've divided it into four quadrants. The southwest quadrant does show the uh, proposed taxi lane that we are talking about today. And next slide. This is our capital improvement plan that we submit to um, the county planning and zoning, as well as for our internal documents. Again, this is part of the strate strategic business plan and was briefed to the CNR September 13th, 2021. You can see the red uh, boxes there on the lower left-hand side. Number 10 is the design of, of this taxiway. And uh, number 11, I believe, was construction. Uh, first phase, we're having to break it into two phases uh, just for funding from the FAA. Those years that, that we were planning on did get shifted around due to FAA funding, so we're about a year behind where, where we wanted to be, but it does show that. Next slide, please. Again, another um, you know design, um, conceptual design from from the um, strategic business business plan that we 
brief to the CNR on September 13th, 2021. You can see that the, the taxi lane is that vertical uh, light blue line that uh, we're proposing and are designing now, as well as some hangar layouts. Again, conceptual, um, but that was briefed to the CNR. Uh, next slide, please. <coughs> Another um, exhibit from the strategic business plan showing the taxiway O and P project. The part that we're building is that red hash marked um, box there. That, and then the blue is the taxi, uh, taxiway D delta that we are construction this, this year. The, this is just for the design phase. We are actually got the 75% um, uh, design for the construction, which is due to start this year. Um, but again, this was briefed to the CNR September 13th, 2021. Next slide, please. Uh, this, okay, this one was uh, briefed to the uh, Jeffco Advisory Board September 13th, 2021, if my eyes uh, don't deceive. 23. 23, thank you. Um, 2023, so two, about two years later, this is a, a more detailed design of, of how we are going to tie in this new taxiway to the existing infrastructure. Uh, but this, uh, yeah, this was uh, briefed to the advisory board and uh, some details there in the upper, upper corner for you. Uh, next slide, please. So that kind of covers the briefings uh, or the public engagement that we did. Um, the, the I know there was a question on the Javiation Master Contract. Uh, to answer, to kind of explain how the system works to you, we are, are bound because we're using FAA federal grants. We have to uh, solicit and, uh, and get under contract an engineering firm. It's a requirement. Um, and in, uh, in accordance with the FAA advisory circular, 150, 50, 100, 14 echo or current, <laughs> uh, we do put those bids out every five years. We are required to list any federal projects that we believe may be coming up in the next five years. Um, if those projects are not on that list, we do have to go back out to bid for engineering services, contract administrative services, architectural, et cetera. Um, but this does satisfy the, the fair and, um, yeah, the open competitive bid process for these projects. Uh, this was done in 2022, uh, and we put Javiation under uh, the airport's master uh, engineering contract. They were uh, awarded this from uh, three firms that, that would uh, put in. Uh, the taxi... Taxi Lane O and D was part of this this project, and um, so that's why we're moving forward with this project. Um, uh, next slide. I don't know if you have questions yet, or maybe I'll uh, save them. But um, just for your for informational purposes, this is the 2022 solicitation that we put out. I've highlighted the taxiway O and D project that was listed on this on this project and then one more slide I think um, this is the taxi lane O and D design AIP 68 grant that was executed September 13th 2023 um, this was the the agreement between the county and and uh, the FA to um, move forward with this project this this design portion was briefed, I believe, in May of 2023. And then um, because we didn't make the six month mark, this is why we're, we're here again, is we're having to rebrief the design for this purchase order so that we can um, pay our consultants to, to move forward with the design and the, the project. So um, that's kind of how we got here. I don't know if you guys have any questions or any other? Uh, thank you for the uh presentation the noise roundtable presentations april 12th 2021 and september 13th 2021 and i know this is 
just within the last day or so taken off the consent calendar and uh, we're a little behind. But do we ha have any record of public comment or comment from other members or of members of those boards? Ben may have, have some of those records. Ben, do you know of anything? Uh, I'd have to go back and check the minutes of those meetings. I did not do so prior to this meeting. Uh, I don't recall any specific objection or, or focus on that specific taxi lane. Those presentations were more focused on the whole overall development plan for the airport and the CIP itself. Just a couple of questions to follow up on some of the issues that we heard during public comment. Could you comment on the um, point or the question that was made regarding expansion involving American Airlines, JetBlue, and JSX? Is that part of why this is we're, we're moving forward with this proposal today? It's not, but I want to also hear from Brian and Ben if you're aware of any of this uh, conversation. We have not had any conversations uh, with American or JetBlue or any commercial service. Ben? I'd agree with that. That one's, that one's puzzling to us. Yeah, and so the other thing too is this taxiway is really an infrastructure to be able to use the aviation land on the south side that Jefferson County owns. So Jefferson County owns that land. And in order to allow uh, a business to come in and, and manufacture something and transport something over to the runway, they need to have a roadway to get there. So think about Pilatus, for example. They assemble an aircraft. They drive it over to their other facility and they paint it. If they chose to expand and wanted another facility to be able to install seats and manufacture those here, they would need to have a runway in order to, to transport that plane to that facility. So think about it as an infrastructure. They can't just drive over the dirt and the uneven terrain with an aircraft. So that's what that taxiway is doing, is it's opening up that portion of the land to be able to develop there. And it has nothing to do with another aircraft carrier coming in. Now, there are people that are currently on our airport that are excited about the south side and potentially may look at moving their business there. But we have that master plan specifically for best and, and, best and, highest, and best use. highest and best use. And so that's why we, we want to make sure we're laying out the aviation land uh, with highest and best use so that not anything just comes in and, and has um, sort of a dysfunction. Great, thank you. I also understand, um, as we were listening to public comment, that there were a couple of questions or references to the minutes. Um, would any of you, Mr. Miller, anyone like to address that question? Ben, were you able to look up anything additional? Yeah, so I checked the minutes for the two roundtable meetings that the slides referenced, and there was no specific um, notes taken about comments related to Taxi Lane, Otis, or Delta, or that specific project. The September meeting that was about the strategic business plan, there was some discussion mainly from Commissioner Jones of Boulder County about how, you know, any kind of expansion plans, as they're called, or growth plans for the airport uh, were kind of contrary to some of the goals of the roundtable. That was kind of as specific as it got. Great, thanks, Mr. Miller. And then finally, we had a question come up about the impact on the surrounding community. And, and you've touched upon um, how the taxiway uh, will be used, but is there anything more you'd like to say in response? We were sensitive to concerns around noise, the issue of lead came up. Um, what impact would this proposed taxiway have on the surrounding community based on what you've looked at? Anytime we do a, a project, construction project on the airport, we are required by the EPA to do an environmental study through the FAA. Uh, this project did receive a categorical exclusion, what we call a CADEX. So they're looking at, um, you know, whether there's an endangered species, uh, historical artifacts, but they also do noise modeling. So noise is part of that environmental study, and um, because the they do a fleet mix, you know, what type of aircraft this may increase, they do a, a noise modeling of that. Um, and so they came back that there was no, a finding, of, I don't want to say a finding of no significant impact because that's more of an environmental assessment, a higher level of study or an environmental impact study, but 
it, it was so low that it did not trigger anything through the EPA. So the, the issue was brought up that um, while some of these things might have been presented to our uh, community roundtable before, um, that there are new members now and um, there are new members that have not had these presentations. And um, I understand that. I also, I mean, any organization, any, whether it's a government or, or business or anything else, any organization would be absolutely frozen in place if you had to represent every bit of information every time there is a new person involved. Um, so I, I don't think we can do that, but we've, um, we do have a solution there, and that is making sure that uh, minutes and documents from previous meetings are posted. And so um, Ben just mentioned uh, in a couple of minutes he was able to access uh, some minutes going back to 2021. Um, and so I was just uh, going to double check uh, with our folks that um, those minutes are accessible to the public if they would like to go back and check the minutes from, um, uh, let's say, the community roundtable uh, from before they might have been on the community roundtable. This is Ben Miller. I can answer that one. Yes, all the minutes from the January 1, 2021 Foundation of the Roundtable are on the Noise Roundtable's webpage. The 2021 minutes in specific were developed by the consultant of the Roundtable at the time and approved by the Roundtable at the subsequent meetings. County Manager Joe Kirby. Thank you, Madam Chair. A couple of questions for staff. Uh, can you describe the difference between Taxiway O, also known as Otis, I believe, and Taxiway D? It's my understanding that they're somewhat different in terms of con new construction versus reconstruction. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yes, uh, Taxiway O, uh, which will not be its final name uh, due to FA regulations, but uh, Taxiway is a new uh, construction of a new runway that will provide access to the 170 acres that, that Jefferson County and the airport uh, own for future development. And then Taxiway D or Taxiway Delta is a reconstruction project that is a one of the oldest pieces of pavement on the airport. It was actually one of the first runways um, and it has not been um, rehabilitated in several decades. So it, uh, because we're gonna increase, um, you know, wh whether it's a seat shop or whatever, um, type of business comes in, that D, taxiway D does need to be reconstructed to um, handle the, the new traffic on it. Uh, thank you. Uh, one last question for you. Uh, regarding the FAA grants that we've uh, uh, engaged in and have been awarded, the, is there a timeline for, uh, or a deadline maybe is, is a better term, uh, for this particular project? And if so, how does that impact the urgency or lack of urgency of this being approved today? Yes, we've um, been working with the FAA ADO. The construction of this project uh, needs to be done by the end of the, or at least started by this year. <clears throat> the funds need to be encumbered, uh, or we will lose the funding. Uh, the, the main concern was the relocation of Sim Street when talking with the FA on this. They were concerned that we weren't going to be able to coordinate the two construction projects, that, um, but we have successfully done that. Uh, our concern now is that if this design purchase order piece is, is held up, we won't be able to uh, begin construction and and uh, accept the grant, the next grant that we are uh, we're supposed to go out to bid in the next month. We just got those documents to go out to bid. So if we do not um, accept this next construction grant, we've been told that we will have to repay this uh, $900,000, $927,000 design grant. Um, the, yeah, the FAA does not want to pay for a design that they are, we're not going to be able to construct. So there is some timing con constraints here. So just to make sure I understand, the, the requirement by the FAA is that the construction 
of this project begin by the end of 2024, not that it has to be completed by the end of 2024? Yes. Uh we most likely will be completed. Uh, we have the way the FA funding works, it gets released in September and of course it starts snowing in November. Uh, so construction sometimes gets delayed, but we do need to accept that grant and begin construction. Yes, correct. Thank you. Great, thanks so much, Mr. Kirby. Um, I wanna thank our, our team for being here this morning and also thank members of the public who carved time out this morning to share with them, share with us our fee their feedback on this item 6.4. May I have a motion to approve item 6.4? Uh, I move for the approval of regular agenda item 6.4. Second. Ms. Blumquist, would you please call the vote? Commissioner Crothart? Yes. Commissioner Kerr? Aye. Commissioner Dahlkemper? Yes. Thanks again for being here.